so uh, we all get you know work that uh, you know it doesn't really excite us too much and kind of a bummer to have to do it but you just do it because you're obligated to and that pretty much brings us to this project <clears throat> This is a, it's a Chevy. I guess it's supposed to be a special kind of a Chevy. It's got a, it's a dart Iron Eagle block. It's got like the raised cam and uh, it's 400 and 450 cubic inches. That's pretty, it's a pretty big small block Chevy. But uh, you know, it's got a Eagle, all Eagle uh, forged rotating assembly with uh, JE pistons, and it's got all the good stuff on it. Um, supposed to be about 15 to one. That's what I asked for. You know, I did all the work on the block and everything. Um, it's got a custom cam that I picked out for it. Um, 815 thousandths lift. Um, they had to swap the firing order on it to get the lobes to come out right. So it's got a different firing order. Um, One thing that I'm working on for it now is it's got these, I don't know if you can see that, it's got these dart 18 degree CNC ported heads. Um, they're supposed to be, when I called and ordered them, I said I wanted your best set of heads for a small black Chevy and this is what they sent me. Um, It's a pretty, uh, pretty interesting, I guess, if you're into that sort of thing. I'm not really into this. I'd rather be working on a Ford, but, but we got to do it. So this, the rocker arms that are available for this, you, it either calls for a uh, like a Jessel setup or a T and D setup and both of them are over three thousand dollars a set for each one for this head so I'm just gonna go ahead and make make a set or make a rocker assembly for it I mean that's that's what we do we make rocker arms um, kind of have, if you look over here, here's the other head. There's the cylinder head for it. So this conventional, um, this is the setup that the customer had before we switched to these heads. They just, they don't fit. They've moved these ports around so much that the, the rocker bolts are different in it. So this is the Jessel setup. And it uses these short shafts here. Um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use our rocker arms, the Dove ones, and we'll make them. I'll make them custom to fit this. So we're gonna come up with something, and hopefully it'll work well. And I hope for my trouble, somebody will, will want some of the rocker arms. That's $3,200 is a lot of money.
They could pay me thirty-one fifty, and we'll all be happy. So this here is uh, this is a setup that my father invented way back in the late '80s, and it uh, you know he took it to the uh, performance racing industry show that year, and it. It won the best new product, but it, we never sold any of them, so. This setup is a little bit different in that you put your rocker arms in and then it has this piece here that clamps down over top of it and kind of it ties it all together and makes it really rigid. So we're going to go with something like this. The geometry of the heads is going to determine whether I can do it or not. So. I'm hoping that we can end up like that, but if not, then we'll have to do something else. But this should be a good engine. It's going to run on alcohol, um, two dominators, and a tunnel ram. But uh, it's time to go ahead and get this one finished and on out the door. Uh -huh. 